Yeah, boss. Finally. Now go shut off that damn alarm. All right. I'm on it. Uh, now where? Ah, there's my next victim now. <laughs> Don't look like much. Here's a quick rundown how this works. You go stock up. Make yourself presentable. Then we're going to give these folks a show. A show where I decorate these walls here with your lovely brains. Thanks to this suit, I'm the only one that wins this fight. Period. You think that power armor will do you any good? Think again. All right, Gage. Let him through. Something tells me I'm really gonna enjoy this. It's almost time. After a run like that, this ought to be the best slaughter yet! to the arena is down by 30%. You do that? Not bad. Is You're this still is gonna need the gun. The squirt gun? That ought to help. Yeah, yeah, I know what it looks like. You're just going to have to trust me. <sighs> well, I've always wanted one of these. 
great toy for Sean. Oh, great. Your lucky day. Congratulations. Now we can get on with it. Once the water hits Coulter's electrically charged power armor, the circuits are gonna short out. It'll kill his defenses, but you only have so much time to do some damage before they recharge. You take him out, I promise you, it'll be worth every minute spent in this gauntlet. Staying hydrated is half the battle, right? He ain't got a choice. All right. Thank you. 
guy. Are you sure, Gage? You better know what the hell you're doing. Hey, what are we talking about this? He survived the dog. He was smart enough to take my advice and strong enough to kill Colt. He's what we need. How about we show some respect for our new leader, eh? He'll get respect when he earns respect. Amen. What did I tell you? Work like a charm. Death by squirt gun. I I'd love to see the message on his tombstone. Tell me about it. I wish I had a better look at his face when the suit shorted out. I get that you have no idea what's going on and everything is coming at you real fast. But you need to listen. Taking out Colter wasn't just a last minute decision. It was something a few of us here have been working on for a while. Now that he's actually gone, we've got ourselves a vacancy in the overboss department. And guess what? You just got the job. All I'm asking is that you trust me on this and give it a shot. I swear, it'll be worth it. Sure, sure. And while you're at it, I suppose next you'll be offering me a million caps. All right, all right. I get it. You don't trust me, but I swear, this is the big score. There are three raider gangs that run the show at Nuka World. The Disciples, the Operators, and the Pack. And yeah, if the names didn't give it away, these ain't your typical raiders. These morons don't exactly play nice with each other. Thanks to Coulter, this place is a powder keg just waiting to blow sky high. One wrong move, and we're going to have a bloodbath on our hands. I think you have what it takes to turn things around and keep these gangs from tearing each other apart. Fine, but it better pay well. I'm not doing this for free. Don't worry. If it's caps you want, you'll be swimming in them soon enough. Now, I'm sure you got a lot of questions, but this ain't the place. Meet me at the overbosses. Your new quarters. The restaurant on top of good old Fizz Top Mountain. We can talk there. Just let me get that door for you. There.
Nisha really only has one rule around here. Don't get caught. Over, you've been working us around the clock. What do you expect us to do? We expect you to show a little appreciation. We make sure you've got enough to eat and drink. We provide security. Without us, you'd be food for the bloodworms. You can either do your job and earn your keep, or we can throw your ass outside the park. Or maybe you think you're better off out there, alone and unarmed. No! No, I'll, um... I'll get back to work. That's better. Hey there. Sometimes you gotta ask yourself, how high were they when they built this place? There's machines here that used to spray kids with Nuka-Cola. Hey there. What was I thought about trying my hand at the gauntlet just to see if I could do it. <clears throat> Please, just time now. don't hurt me. No one's stopping your performance. There's some bad jobs here, but cleaning up the PAX hideout is the worst. That's... Yeah, I'd whip you apart. Not supposed to hurt the other gangs. No rule against tricking them into hurting hey each there. other, though. If you're wearing a collar, it's because you asked for it. Ain't no one's a slave that don't want to be. Well, hello there, young fella. Welcome to Nuka World. I'm Mira, your friendly Nuka World informational robotic assistant. Is this your first visit to Nuka World? As a matter of fact, it is. Well, that's terrific! We're so happy to welcome you to Nuka World! Now, before you set off on your grand Nuka adventure, let me tell you about... Error. <laughs> System malfunction. Are you finished wasting my time, you filthy lowlife scabber? Cause I'm getting bored, and when I get bored, I get violent! You are... Clearly suffering from some kind of major malfunction. The only malfunction I've got is this idiot scabber standing in front of me. Maybe I should solve my little problem permanently. System restored. Oops. 
Sorry about that little glitch. Data logs indicate unauthorized tampering with my personality subroutines. Please contact a Nuka World maintenance technician as soon as possible. A malfunction? What on earth makes you think that? Internal systems monitoring recorded an unauthorized shutdown and reboot. When functionality was restored, several behavioral parameters had been altered. My audio receptors recorded the entire event, and I submitted a holotape recording per standard security procedures. Now don't you worry. Even despite that unfortunate incident, I'm still operating at well over 61% normal capacity. As I was about to say, I have a little tip to help you make the most of your exciting Nuka World adventure. Be sure to collect park medallions as you enjoy our amazing rides and attractions. There's a special reward if you collect a full set. If you have any questions about Nuka World, I'd be delighted to answer them. And remember, any time is the right time to enjoy a cold, refreshing Nuka Cola. No questions for now. In that case, thanks for error. <laughs> System malfunction. You're still here? Get the hell out of my face, you miserable dung sniffing dirt scratcher. System restored. Have a great day. Just working hard, like always. <coughs> oh, uh, hey boss. Didn't hey, see you there. Tough. Seems like the work never Find ends. Off one of the traders to some food. Eyes, yeah? <laughs> what did you do to him? Turned him loose outside the gate. <laughs> you serious? Yeah. Then I got in a little extra target practice. <laughs> Dumbass traders. Not supposed to hurt the other gang. No rule against tricking them into hurting each other. If you can take something, it's yours. Welcome to the nest, boss. We was wondering when you'd make it down here. If you ain't standing out, you ain't worth looking at. Word is, super mutants just hit the place. Please, don't hurt me. Should be easy pickings. If there's anything left, how good is this source of yours? It's good, Shank. I don't bring you bullshit. And I'd like to keep it that way. Here, earn this. Anything else you find out? Shank, you'll be the first to know. Excuse me. As long as... Found some pretty good stuff while I was out on the road. Interested? I'll take a look, sure.
Huh. So you're the new overboss. I expect you and I are gonna have a lot to discuss in the future. <coughs> Colta sure left you a mess, didn't he? Boss, making trouble? Good. Well, well. It's the highest and mightiest himself. How can I be of service, eh? My pleasure. I thought about trying my hand at the gauntlet just to see if I could do it. <laughs> hey, Waste of time now. Hey, no, traders here are no better than slaves. Poor bastards. Hey there, boss. You really laid a beat down on Coulter. That was something. Guess that means his big plans for the park died with him. Big plans? Did that include getting killed in his own arena? Well, of course not, boss. Back when Coulter first took over, he had big ideas, and he made some big promises. His plan was to get the power plant back online, and light up the whole park, making it easier to conquer, and safer for all of us. We could have done it too, but things changed, slowed down. Coulter stopped pushing, stopped caring so much. Sounds like he just got comfortable. Not my place to say, but I've heard some of that talk in the gangs. Well, I'm just a traitor, so I know my opinion doesn't count for anything. But I still think it's a good plan. Hell, I might even give those poor bastards out in Dry Rock Gulch a fighting chance. What poor bastards are you talking about? Back when the raiders took over, some of us, the traitors who were here before, I mean, got away. Last I heard, those folks were holed up in Dry Rock Gulch. They're probably struggling, if they're alive at all. You think you'll follow through on Coulter's plan? Get the juice flowing again? Coulter had the right idea. I just might finish what he started. I hope you do, boss. Truth is, I've dreamed about that day more than once. Not sure why, really. Maybe I've just grown attached to the place. What with all the work I've done on it. It sounds funny, I know, but I think Nuka World is something really special. I think she deserves to have her lights shine again. And just imagine, at night you'd see it for miles around. Folk would talk about it. 
They'd come from all over to shop in the market. That's a lot of caps for you and the gangs. How long have you been here? Been about 20 years now, I guess. For better or worse, Nuka World is my home. Gotta get back to work here. See you around, boss. So, you're the new boss. Coulter was no pushover. If you were tough enough to take him out, then you definitely earned that title. Whatever his faults, I'll say this. Coulter built something here. Something important. A lot of people come a long way to trade here. A lot of caps flow through the market. It's the kind of opportunity you don't want to take for granted. Wouldn't be much of a market if we didn't have customers. Exactly. Customers means caps, and caps means everyone's happy. When a bunch of raiders aren't happy anymore, the bullets start flying. There's one other thing you should probably know. I've got an arrangement with Shank. When I'm out on the road, I keep an ear to the ground. I hear anything interesting, I relay it to him. Whatever arrangement you've got with Shank is your business. I'm glad you see it that way. Since you're here, can I hook you up with any supplies? Let's see what you got. Machines here that used to spray kids with Nuka Cola. What was wrong with those? People? I'd bring my kids here someday, if not for all these raiders. If you're wearing a collar, it's because you asked for it. Ain't no one's a slave that don't want it. The guy selling cams is a little off. Guns and ammo here. Need supplies? Got a little of everything here. Come take a look. The raiders keep talking about bloodworms. I hope I never find out what those are. Stems, cams, and other sweet treats. Get them while they last. Got your pick up right here. General supplies here. Come, come and stock up. Oh, uh, hello, boss. Congratulations on taking out Coulter. I'm, uh, sure you'll do great. You're damn right. This is my show now. Sorry I'm so nervous. I didn't mean any disrespect, boss. I just don't know where I stand with you, and I, I don't want to end up pissing you off. That and, well... I'd be lying if I said we weren't all wondering how you plan to run the place. I mean, this is your show now. You can do anything you want. You can run Nuka World just like Coulter. Business as usual, or... You could... Um, well, you know... Get rid of the Raiders if you don't exactly agree with how they're running the place. Well, I admit... I didn't like being roped into this job in the first place. Then this might be your chance to make some changes around here. The gangs that call this place home are already at each other's throats. Now, you could risk your own neck and try to keep them from tearing each other apart, or you could do the right thing and put them in the ground. 
And when it's all said and done, you're still running this place from your fancy house on the mountain over there. Except now, you won't have to sleep with a gun under your pillow. I'm not making any promises, but I'll keep it in mind. It's your call, boss. If you're serious about this, then you'll have to take down the leaders of the gangs. That means putting a bullet into Nisha, Mason, Mags, and Mags's brother, William. Once you do that, the gangs will collapse and Nuka Town goes back to being a free trading post. I should, uh, probably stop talking about this out here. Just keep what I said in mind. Anyway, I'm the closest thing to a doctor around here. I treat everyone, raider, trader, or traveler alike. Got some medical supplies, too, if you're looking for those. Patch me up, Doc. Of course. What seems to be the trouble? Uh, never mind. We're done. On your way, then. Hey, boss. Gotta admit, it was good to see Coulter go down. He scared the hell out of me. Gave me nightmares. Yeah, don't That's worry about me. I'll stay in line. For a fair price. Hey, boss. Gotta admit, it was good to see Coulter go down. He scared the hell out of me. Gave me nightmares. I'm not planning to give anyone nightmares. Thank goodness. I'll sleep a lot better having you in charge. So, uh, what do you think? About running Nuka World, I mean. Figure it must be a pretty tough job. Keeping all these raiders in line. I wasn't really looking to become the overboss of Nuka World, but I might as well enjoy the benefits of my position. Makes sense to me. Well, I'm sure you've got more important stuff to do than talk to me. Or were you here to pick something up? Let's see what you have. Right away, boss.
supplies of all kind for your journeys across the Commonwealth. Well, well, look who it is. Are you here to grace my humble market stand with your presence, oh great boss, sir? Damn right. You should thank me. It's not every day I wander out to visit the peasants. For a second there, I thought you might be making a joke. Hell, I even considered laughing. But then I remembered it's not a joke at all. It's the truth I live with every day. We do all the work, then the gangs reap the rewards. Pretty sweet setup, at least for you. But I guess it doesn't really matter what I think, does it? As long as I'm wearing this collar, I'm no better than a slave. Hey, it's not my fault things are like this. I just got here. Never said it was. Just figured you should know what you're getting into. <sighs> now, if you need guns or ammo, I'm the one you talk to. And before you ask, yeah, everyone pays. Even you. Not looking to buy right now. All right. Not looking for Aaron. trouble, just guns, some good deals. ammo, you know the deal. Let's see what you got. Sure. Sure. Yeah, I'm here to trade, but I'm not letting my guard down for a second. Hey, Aaron. Everyone runs out of ammo sooner or later. So, what do you need? I've got a few minutes to browse. All right. Wasteland's a dangerous place. I'm yourself with a quality weapon right here. Take control of your mind. Fly without wings. I got camps for every need. Chill out. Let me get this straight. Some scaver makes it through the gun, takes out the boss, and now we're all supposed to follow him? How does that work? He ain't even a raider. All I know is, Gage was in the mountain the other day and he had a real long talk with Nisha. In private. Gage? Out of hell with that guy. What's he ever done around here? Hey, I'm just telling you what I saw. You want to know hey, more about what's going on? Ain't no one on? sad about Coulter. Hey! Just sure, we carry guns, up. but knives are what do I look like? And it's not idiots. fun unless you're up close in person. Hey. Pack and disciples. Bunch of amateurs playing dress up. We're gonna head on in over, boss. You haven't seen anything that's, um... Out of the ordinary around here, have you? Maybe something hidden. 
Shaped like a bottle cap. I thought we told you to keep your ass at the market. If you're looking for something, you can find it there, like everyone else. I'm not here for the market. Hi. I don't suppose you can't for a bullet in the brain. I've always either. dreamed of so coming here, live, and now I, I finally made it. This belong. place is amazing, don't you think? Yeah, I guess it is pretty impressive. It sure is. You can just imagine the children smiling and happy, all drinking Nuka Cola and having the time of their lives. It, it must have been magical. The name's Sierra Petrovita. I traveled all the way from the Capital Wasteland to visit this place. Maybe you've heard about my Nuka Cola Museum? Uh, yeah, the Nuka Cola Museum. Everyone's heard of that. Really? That's great! I'm so glad word is catching on. Maybe I'll get more visitors soon. You just made my day! Here, let me return the favor. It's not really cold anymore, but I'm sure it still tastes great. Well, I'd stay and chat some more, but I've got to get back to my search. If you're searching for a more ridiculous pair of sunglasses, don't bother. I doubt such a thing exists. Sunglasses? Oh, you mean the cappy glasses. Sorry, sometimes I forget I'm even wearing them. Aren't they great? It was pretty clever making them part of the... C oh, I, I shouldn't have said that. You know what? Never mind. I'll just keep looking. I could help you out if you want. Oh, no thanks. I kind of need to keep this a secret. It's really important to me, and I just don't know you very well. I'll keep your secret. You can trust me. Well... Okay. To be honest, I'm so excited I can barely keep it in. It'll be a relief to finally tell someone. I guess you could think of me as the world's biggest Nuka-Cola fan. I've been obsessed with this stuff since the first time I tasted it. I collect all the merchandise I can find. Like these awesome cappy glasses I'm wearing. But these aren't just ordinary sunglasses. They were part of a really cool contest that started just before the war. Oh my gosh. And the winner of the contest would get to meet the famous John Caleb Bradburton himself. Oh boy, John Caleb Bradburton, how exciting. I know. That's exactly how I felt when I first learned about the contest. It's so nice to meet someone who really understands. So, to win the contest, you had to find 10 images of Cappy, the Nuka-Cola mascot, hidden throughout the park. Each image has part of a code or something, and only these special glasses can reveal it. Now I know what you're thinking. Brad Burton's long gone. Who cares about the contest anymore? Well... I'm betting that somewhere in his office is the original Nuka-Cola formula. That formula was one of the great mysteries of the soft drink world. And it would be the crown jewel of my collection. If you can help me get it, I promise it'll be worth your while. You'd better make good on that promise. I'm not running a charity out here, you know. Of course. Th there's a little bit more to the story, and this is the part I think you'll like. Brad Burton didn't just create soda formulas. He was a genius who invented all kinds of fantastic things. All I really care about is getting my hands on the Nuka-Cola formula. Any other inventions we find are yours to keep. So, what do you think? Sure, why not? Might learn more about the park while I'm at it. Good point. You're new here, after all. You should learn everything you can. I'll give you my cappy glasses and this old contest hollow tape. It's got hints about where to find the hidden cappies. Just track down the clues and then come back to me once you've found them all. I'm an expert in all things Nuka-Cola, so I'm sure I'll be able to decipher it. Happy hunting! Oh, you guys are real friendly, aren't you? Nisha really only has one rule around here. Don't get caught.
Things are boring as hell since Nisha made us team up. I ain't no fan of playing nice with others. That last one died too fast. I'm losing my touch. Hey, Deke. It's me, Clark. I'm not much for conversation. Damn Nuka Cola song stuck in my head again.
Nisha really only has one rule around here. Don't get caught. Things are boring as hell since Nisha made us team up. I ain't no fan of playing nice with others. Welcome home, boss. The digs are yours now. I hope you like the look. Coulter had some peculiar tastes. But this view is something, huh? Everything you see here is under your control, now that you're in charge. I sure do like the sound of that. I thought you might. Look, I'll be honest with you. This operation needs someone to step in and take the reins. Sure as hell ain't gonna be me. Leading outright ain't my style. And there's already some blaming me for supporting Coulter all this time. My talents are best put to use helping a new overboss get all this shit under control. You get me? Oh, sure. I understand. So, are you just gonna paint the bullseye directly on my back, or what? <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. It's a part of the reason you won't see me stepping up and running things. But I'm telling you. It ain't gonna be that bad. Let's take a step back and talk big picture, okay? Nuka World. Shit. This was the dream. Huge. Built like a goddamn fortress. You run this, world is yours. We had a good head start on it. A lot of work went into getting the disciples, the operators, and the pack to work together. But we got here. About a year ago, we push in through the front gate, take over Nuka Town, get these traitors under our thumb. And then, well, Coulter got lazy. He was content to sit on his ass. Never bothered putting in the effort to finish taking over the park. The gangs got restless and started pissing each other off. It was... is... a real mess. I can fix this. I can make this work. Yeah? Man, I sure hope so. Ain't gonna lie. I've heard about you. 
part of that railroad, ain't you? I don't give a damn about their little crusade. But guess I know you've got some fight in you. Look, I know these gangs. Been working with them or against them for years now. I'll help you, okay? Walk you through everything. First thing you gotta do is get the gangs behind you. Without them supporting you, you're not getting shit done. You don't have to trust them. Hell, you don't even have to like them. But you need them to respect you enough to follow you. Have any advice for how I should go about it? Yeah, all right. The disciples like violence. The bloodier, the better. Tell them they'll get plenty of it. The operators are in it mostly for the money. They get promised caps, they'll listen to you. The pack, hell, I don't know. They follow whoever they think is the strongest. Show some teeth, I guess. Don't worry. Everybody likes me. Yeah, I wouldn't count on that. Look, technically, you're already the new overboss, right? That's like half the work done right there. Just meet the leaders. Talk with them. Flex your muscles a little. Show them you mean business. Okay, let's do this. All right. That's what I'm talking about. You just need to show them you're the right man for the job. I'll be here if you need me. You are the overboss, after all. Just don't screw this up. Gage. You need something, boss? You need something, boss? Sure this is gonna work? What if we overload the processor? Could fry the whole system. Then we salvage it for parts. You really think anyone's gonna miss this robot? Now hand me that screwdriver. If this little personality upgrade works, it's gonna be the funniest damn thing in the park. Man, I can't wait to see the looks on the other guy's faces when they try to talk to it. There. All done. One slightly raiderized robot ready for duty.
Got it. Hey, 